Hey guys, this is Rogue Flamingo, and welcome to my 2020 Beginner's Guide to Guild Wars 2. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Trading Post and the Gem Store. Just for clarification, the Gem Store is the um, shop that you can use to purchase things directly from ArenaNet, so account upgrades and um, cosmetics and stuff like that. And the Trading Post is Guild Wars 2's equivalent of an auction house, where you can buy and sell any tradable items with other players uh, put in bids and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to do is have a quick look at the gem store. So you can access the gem store and the trading post by clicking on this button at the top here, Black Lion Trading Company, or as it says in brackets there, you can press O on your keyboard for a shortcut and that brings it up. So as you can see down the left you've got options here, gem store, currency exchange and trading we'll post. And um, we'll here. go through all three of those. So to start with, the gem store. So this game isn't by any means pay to win. There's nothing on the gem store that you have to purchase. Most of it's just for cosmetic reasons or potentially um, uh, account upgrades like extra character slots and bank slots and stuff like that. But nothing that you actually need but some that is pretty useful to be perfectly honest. So to get gems, uh, you can click here and you can purchase gems with real world cash. Um, obviously that can be quite pricey depending on your situation so you might want to avoid that um, it is possible to get gems without using real world cash you can use the currency exchange here which you can use in-game gold which is just the normal uh, in-game currency to purchase gems it can be quite steep though so if you want to get gems if you want 800 gems that's going to cost you 277 gold uh, it's actually possible to do the other way around so for example to get gold with gems so if you didn't need anything from the gem store that you really needed some in-game gold but obviously um, you were willing to pay real world cash for it you could buy gems with real world cash and transfer those gems for gold okay so have a little look at the gem store and the stuff you can purchase so they have a promotions tab here which is obviously things that are currently on deal um, Essentially, you can sometimes buy a certain amount of something at a certain price. It tells you how long there's left on it. So just to have a look at a couple of things here. This obviously changes, so don't go buy this video on, on what's currently on deal because it might be different. So always have a look on that promotion tab if you're looking at something because you might be able to get yourself a decent deal. So having a look at the stuff you can purchase. So in the style tab, this is all your cosmetics. So you've got mount skins there which as you can see you can always go in you can preview it so you can get a new wrapped amount skim amount spring amount you see this is all obviously at the moment it's Halloween 2020 so um, a lot of the new stuff and the stuff that's on deal is Halloween related stuff so there's glider skins little bits of armor skins, hoods and stuff to go with your armor. Uh, full outfits, so obviously there's Halloween ones but there's plenty of other ones that you've got on there. Skins to go on top of your armor, which you can use using the wardrobe system. Said so There's plenty of cosmetics here to look through. So you might want to have a look through here and see if anything tickles your fancy, but then at the end of the day, it is quite costly, so you're not going to be wanting to buy loads of stuff, but whatever your situation is, it is quite nice to have a look through and see the different outfits you can get. The utility tab here are generally things that help in-game. So um, the harvesting tools, these are one thing that I would say are really good. So um, obviously in the game, I don't know how experienced you are, but you have harvesting tools to um, to to do mining and logging and, and picking herbs and stuff like that. And generally when you buy those they have, you know, say like 50 uses or something like that and then you have to go buy another one. And they're also tiered so um, to get you know, in high level areas you'll need higher level harvesting tools. So you can spend a little bit of in-game money purchasing those tools and, and keeping them up to date. With the harvesting tools that you get from the gem store here you can get what is effectively an everlasting um, harvesting tool so it's the top quality so it can harvest all of the highest quality things and also it has unlimited uses so you can see why this could be useful because you could just stick it in your slots 
and and you'd never have to worry about getting new harvesting tools again. You can move them between characters, but they can only be on one character at a time, so you probably want it on whatever character you're currently leveling or doing a lot of play on at that one time. I think, for example, at the moment, if I go into my equipment tab, I can see my logging tools here. I've got everlasting tools there. Quite a lot of them, as you can see there, also have glyphs on them, which give you say, like an added chance of getting something um, when you're logging. So extra, um, you know, like for example, if I'm mining, I can get watchwork sprockets with that, which I can sell. So it just makes a little bit of extra money for your character. There's some things here like, um, yeah, more login tools. Bumps and jump starts for your account. So I say nothing you actually need, but bank tab expansions, bag slot expansions. Like if I see my bag slots here, I can fit four bags there, but you could potentially get quite a few more of those to make your inventory bigger and bigger. I don't think they're necessarily needed, but you know, it could be useful for you. Same with the banks. Bank tab expansions, I think, are more useful, so you can fit more stuff in your bank. Transportation charges, which if you want a bit more detail on that, look at my last video on the wardrobe and die system. And linking into that as well, account bound unidentified dies. So you could get yourself quite a big uh, load of dies there that you could add to your account if you're just starting out. Salvage kits, XP boosts, like I say, if you want to level a bit faster, and quite a lot of stuff. But you know, spend a bit of time having a look through there to see all the different things you can get. Toys, these ones are sort of um, just cosmetic things like fireworks and gliders, box of fun flute you see, so if you have a look through there um, there might be some stuff, along with some uh, minis as well which are pretty cool, they'll follow you around, adds to your look. The upgrades tab here, the last one, it links in with some of the other ones but generally they're account upgrades like uh, so you can store an extra build for your characters um, it's got the login tools on there as well but you can have an extra crafting profession you can ba extra bag slots, extra bank tabs, all that sort of thing like I say nothing that you, that you actually have to have but to be honest a lot of the stuff can be quite useful so if you have got the extra money considering you don't have to pay a subscription fee for this game you might feel that you ha have a little bit extra money to spend in the gem store this last stuff here is just history, just so you can see all the stuff you've recently purchased and when you purchased it, and you can purchase another one straight from there if you want to. And there's a button here to redeem a code. I suppose if you, uh, I think potentially you could go on a different website like Amazon or something like that, and buy a, uh, a gems uh, gift card, or someone might buy it for you, and you use that button there to redeem it. So that's the basics of the gem store, looking at what you can purchase from there. Um, we just we went a little bit into the currency exchange as well so obviously purchasing gems with gold and purchasing gold with gems and transferring it over and the exchange rates do fluctuate on that depending on demand so obviously keep an eye on that and then we're going to have a look at the trading post so lots of people know this as sort of the auction house from other MMOs and stuff like that it works in a similar way but I think it's pretty good so I'll go through some of the key features so the home feature here it's got recently viewed, recently traded items and some shortcuts to sell sell items as well as buy armor and weapons which you can filter through here as well and we'll go into that but across the top here you've got buy items so you go here and you can purchase items obviously listing some, some suggested ones there but you can go in and you can filter exactly how you want you might want chest armor, you might want to have a look at it there I'll go into that in a little bit more detail in a second. So here you can sell items. So it shows you all the stuff in your inventory that you can sell and what the current price people are willing to pay is. And then the My Transactions tab. So you can see current transactions, so uh, things you're buying and selling that haven't yet gone through, as well as history of bought and sold items. Uh, if you ever want to have a look at that or potentially just buy the same item again, you can do that. So having a look at the options on the Buy Items tab. So um, what you can do is obviously you've got armor, weapons, upgrade components, skins, crafting materials, other inventory bags and stuff you stick in your favorites there. So just simply let's have a look, let's go into armor, let's go to headgear, obviously it's listing here I think in alphabetical order all the headgears that are on there. So you're probably going to want something a bit more specific. So if you click on the little cog here, 
then you're able to filter it however you want. So you you might want something which has power, precision, and ferocity. Um, you might want it to work for a mesmer. Rarities, you, you might want exotic. And level range, you might want it to be level 80 to 80 there. You can also match my level there and only show what's available. So that's given me some options here. I can sort it by price, see what's the cheapest. When I find something I want to purchase, all I do is I just click into it there. And what it's got here, it's got current buyers and current sellers. So this is where the uh, trading post in Guild Wars 2 differs slightly from the auction houses on other games. What you can do is you can put in an order for an item or multiple of an item and wait for someone to sell it for that price. So for example, someone here has ordered three of this mask for 63 silver and six copper each. And then here you have current sellers which is how much people have put it up, up for auction effectively and people can buy it at that price. So the way it automatically sorts it here. So on the left um, it's showing you here the highest current um, buyer. So if I wanted to sell this item I could sell it straight away for 63 silver or I could potentially sell it for more and I'll go into the selling items in a minute but on the buying side of it I can buy two of these at 97 silver 40 copper and then as you can see another three at that price it goes up and up and up but it automatically gives you here the lowest available price to buy instantly so you could just buy that instantly uh, and you'd have that come straight to you and um, the other option is if you're not willing to pay that amount but you are willing to wait a little bit you can always put a bid in so look, you could order one for 80 silver, 40 copper, place an order, and as you can see, the highest order at the moment is 63 silver, so you might want to do a little bit more than them. So if you were to put it in as 64 silver, you're then going to be at the top there. So if someone picks this item up and wants to sell it straight away, you're going to be at the top of their list to sell for 64 silver. So you, potentially if you're buying a lot of crafting materials or something like that, you could save yourself a lot of money by putting in orders as long as you're willing to wait. Like you see, there's like a... 33 silver difference between the, the buying and selling instantly amounts on here so you could end up getting saving yourself a lot of money on some items there so let's have a quick look at the sell items and how that works similar so you click on sell items bring up all the stuff in your inventory you can sell so for example if I want to sell this trick or treat bag it's going to load up there so obviously I can set the quantity if I've got more than one got the price here it's it's defaulting it to free silver 92 copper because that's the highest amount someone has ordered them for so you see someone's ordered 1270 of them at free silver 92 copper so I could sell that instantly and get that money bear in mind there is a listing fee and an exchange fee here so always have a look at that you're not going to get that exact amount it's going to be that less these two amounts here but obviously if you want to sell stuff in your inventory quick so you've just uh, done a dungeon or you've just uh, done a couple of quests and you want to just sell the stuff in your inventory you can go through and just sell it all instantly at the price people are willing to bid for so if I want more uh, if I want to sell it for more um, then what I can do is I can always adjust this price and sell it for however much that would be good so for example if I go onto this one here I can go here, I can see the current sellers, so um, the least someone's got it up for sale at the moment is one silver free copper. So if I wanted to sell it for a little bit more than that, or a little bit less, if I wanted to undercut the lowest seller, I could do it at one silver, two copper, and suddenly I'm at the top of the list there. So if somebody has got that item and they want to purchase it instantly uh, for convenience, you're there, you're obviously got the best price, so they'll go to you first. But there is, like I say, with this item there is a small difference between the buying and selling price, but on some it can be quite big, so you could make quite a lot more money if you're willing to wait for the money to come in by sticking them all up there and people can uh, purchase it as they go along. Okay, so I think that's most of the basics, but what I just want to quickly show you now is if I was to sell um, an item here on the trading post, so if I wanted to sell that bag, 
sell all three of them. There you go. Sell instantly. Success. So the money less the fees has gone straight into my delivery box. So you don't have to go to a black line trading actual vendor in the world to do all of this stuff. The only thing you will need to go to the vendor for is to actually pick up the money or pick up any items you've purchased. So if you go to your map, this indicator here, that um, icon there indicates that that's a trading post where you can buy and sell. So what I'll do now, it's one over here, so I'll just glide down to that and I'll interact with the trading post person there. And now I've done that, I can take that money and that's just added that straight into my bag there. So that's easy enough and it's exactly the same if you purchase an item, you'll have to go to a trading post to actually collect that. But other than that, normally you can just press O on your keyboard and buy and sell all the items in your inventory without ever having to go to a trading post. So I think that's all of the key things to go through on that. Thanks for watching guys, um, this is my 2020 beginner's guide to Guild Wars 2 and I'll be bringing out plenty more um, content as well. So if there's anything that you want me to do in my beginner's guide or any other videos then just stick a comment, obviously the same if you have any questions as well. Um, I'll be adding to this playlist regularly so if you like and subscribe to be kept up to date on all my newest content that would be great. Well, thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, see you all soon.